The controversial practice of hazing sea lions will soon begin again at Willamette Falls. The Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife will use fireworks to try and scare them away from the falls. They're trying to protect federally listed salmon and steelhead, which the sea lions, of course, are known for eating. K2's Dan Tilken live in Oregon City with that story. And Dan, the sea lions will not be injured or killed, but even hazing them is not sitting well with some folks, right? Well, remember that a federal court recently halted the killing of those ravenous sea lions, which are on the Columbia River at, up at Bonneville Dam. But as those sea lions return there and they come back here to Willamette River, animal rights activists think that hazing will lead down a deadly road. Uh, they're smart. They're where the fish are. 30 years, Steve Hall's fished the Willamette. Look in the white water there and you'll see fins every once in a while in front of the second ladder. There's one. He's not a fan of the sea lions that breach the surface as they seek salmon. Uh, you put in a lot of hours to catch a fish and then the sea lion will take it from you. This week, Oregon Fish and Wildlife will begin training to do the same thing they did last year. They'll use fireworks called seal bombs to haze the sea lions and they'll also use shotguns that fire blanks. Sea lions are extremely smart, very smart, and their behavior adapts daily and by the hour to the hazing effort. The sea lions are being scapegoated in this case. Matt Rosell of In Defense of Animals says hazing doesn't address what he sees as a problem of overfishing by humans. And that's what a federal court said when it recently stopped the killing of sea lions on the Columbia at Bonneville Dam, saying the number of salmon sea lions eat doesn't compare to what people catch. But regulators think soon-to-be-released numbers will show sea lions are eating more than previously thought, which might allow killing on the Columbia again. In Defense of Animals thinks the Willamette is next. We're most concerned about what the hazing might lead to, which is we're worried they're going to kill sea lions. Before they could begin trapping and then killing sea lions here on the Willamette like they do on the Columbia up at Bonneville, they'd first have to show that hazing them here doesn't work. But Oregon Fish and Wildlife says the goal of hazing on the Willamette is simply to drive the hungry sea lions away. There's not any plans right now to euthanize them here. Not at all. Not, not, not at all. Now people here in Oregon City and across the river in Westland could start hearing those small hazing explosions sometime early next week. Federal regulators tell me the killing of sea lions at Bonneville Dam on the Columbia could start as soon as March, but they also tell me they realize this could all end up in court again. Dan Tilkin, K2 News. This topic always sparks a lot of conversation, Dan. Thank you very much.